Tonight, police say a tow truck driver got hit by a car and then run over. Yeah, it happened on the same day that ADOT lost one of their own. David Caltabiano tells us a man's mes message to drivers tonight. His eyes are black, his arm is fractured, and a lot of his body and face is broken. I didn't know what had happened. Including his jaw, which doctors had to wire shut. My husband should not have to be going through this pain and, and having to go through everything he went through because he didn't deserve it. He was at work standing next to his tow truck when police say this man, Jeffrey David Green, hit him and ran him over. According to police documents, Jeffrey told a witness, end quote, I'm in so much trouble, I had a beer today, end quote. But when he spoke with officers, he admitted to taking Percocet and muscle relaxers before getting behind the wheel. My husband is the type of person who has such a big heart and takes care of everybody. And for him to have to go through this over somebody's straight up just disregard for any other person's life, it makes me mad. The victim told me he was unloading cars off his tow truck in the middle of Cave Creek Road when he was run over. It happened on the same day an ADOT worker was killed on the job. Now his family has a message to drivers who pass by people who are working on our roads. If it was reversed and my husband was the ADOT worker that drived, I, I couldn't even fathom the pain. It would have just been too much. If you see tow trucks, any service vehicles have the courtesy to move over, you know, our lives matter too. Despite his long list of injuries and even longer road to recovery, he feels lucky to be alive. He hopes you're cautious the next time you see someone working on Valley streets. It's time for you guys to start being considerate drivers. In Phoenix, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.